Hello, me again. First off, I want to apologise for this video taking so long to come out. I've been pretty sick lately, and I'm still getting over it, so forgive me if my voice sounds a little strained. Having said that, I don't think there could have been a better or worse time to release this video. As you may know already, Ash vs Evil Dead has been cancelled by stars, and while many petitions have sprung up to beg Netflix to take on the show, Ash himself, Bruce Campbell, has announced that after 30 years of demon beating, he's hanging up the chainsaw. Speaking of demons, in this video I'll be working on Dead Eye Henrietta and the Necronomicon, the book bound in human flesh that started it all. The book has gone through a few different design changes over the years, but what I've gone for here is a hybrid between Evil Dead 2 and Ash vs the Evil Dead. Evil Dead will always be a special franchise to me. I saw Evil Dead 2 when I was about 13 and it instantly captivated me with its bright colours, inventive monster designs and slapstick comedy. At that age, a guy having a chainsaw for a hand and fighting demons was the coolest thing I had ever seen. And as you know of my love of monsters, I drew Evil Dead stuff a lot. I don't actually think I had a textbook at school that didn't contain Ash or some deadites from either Evil Dead or Army of Darkness. Here are some of my old drawings from when I first saw the second movie. And clearly inspired by the work of the KMB guys who would later go on to work on The Walking Dead, Predators and many more. This guy looks like some kind of hair metal dude with the Kandarian dagger. He's had his sleeves ripped off. And this, uh, this fella here, whew, he's uh, definitely inspired much like this guy by the rotten apple head that attacks Ash at the end of the second movie. I did this entire piece with the pencil tool. This is a technique I've not really used since I did the illustrated spirit guide, but I think the sketchy look really fits this piece. I actually did a colouring technique here where I leave white spaces for the uh, lighting to be put underneath the image rather than on top. I find it gives it a really weird kind of look that fits stuff like Evil Dead and all the stuff in the illustrated spirit guide. As you can see, Again, all done with the pencil tool, gives it a really sketchy look, which I really like. It just fits, especially like fleshy tones like Henrietta and the book. There I am trying some colours underneath that didn't quite work. Pink wasn't the one. Just fleshing out Henrietta, giving her some purple under the eyes. And of course the gums and lovely teeth. Blue also didn't work. But eventually, I went for green, which I find fits this kind of thing even better. And of course, you need some blood, because it's Evil Dead. And there you go. I've actually thrown this design up on my Redbubble. You can buy it on t-shirts and whatever there. Uh, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Feel free to catch me while drawing live on Twitch. And thank you again to my Patreons, Connor, and everybody who's watched this video links will be in description for everything here find me on the social media follow me on twitch watch it live and i'll see you next time thank you bye